Hey everybody, Editing Bay Flamenco here. So in the time between when I edited this and the time that I recorded this, uh, Mori has released a, another statement and pinned it onto her Twitter saying that there is no schedule for several weeks, probably streaming when I feel like it. Um, she's going to be apparently taking some well-needed time off and despite kind of leaning into some of the more racy memes i hope that everyone joins me in wishing maury a enjoyable break and we hope to see her breath uh you know fresh and bright-eyed uh once she uh, gets back all right with all that simping crap out of the way let's get right into the stream segment so the drama tldr is that a super chatter went into calliope or Calliope, I, I will probably pronounce her name wrong uh, multiple times during this, so I apologize um, because I have a very hard time pronouncing things properly, especially once I get it in my head to pronounce things wrong the first time. It's it's there for the uh, rest of the time. Calliope, 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 Cal, Calliope. Okay. See, I, I'm, I'm really bad at this. I'm really bad at this. I'm really bad at this. However... She received a super chat that was sent as a extremely um, pointed question, uh, or not even really a question, but a specifically pointed super chat that basically called into question her even mentioning a person in passing about um, her her association with Connor, a, another YouTuber who co-hosts a podcast that Maury was on called Trash Taste. Um, now, that part of the drama is uh, pretty much over with. She kind of flat out said, hey, you know, uh, don't tell me who I can and cannot associate with. Um, if you do have a problem, uh, let me know in emails. But don't uh, don't try to make it awkward on stream because it's uh, really not cool. And um, it just makes things awkward for everybody involved. Um which is a pretty reasonable and responsible reaction to all this. Um, however, there is a subsection of the community that is extremely, extremely autistic. Like even more than even more than me for covering it. There is an extremely autistic subsection that is um, really upset about this. They've been posting things such as I believe it was this. Um, somebody has now gone into, uh, I guess, leaving Super Chats uh, and Connor streams. And the, the meme is now that Connor is uh, in a romantic relationship with Mori, like IRL. Uh, both of them apparently live in Japan, so it's a relatively, you know, plausible theory. Um, sending Super Chats to Connor, asking or saying uh, this is for the condom fund. And uh, people are getting kind of really, really, really invasive. Um, she uh, she brings up this, you know, after all this. Um, let's see. this the, the condom one was after she said she's not going to read the Super Chats anymore. And if people donate to her, um, she is going to not um read them and she's just going to give them the money so if you hate a person she's just going to give them a mon the money off stream or whatever relatively reasonable thing so as all this is going on um there was a um there was an image that was posted and i believe i can show this image on stream because it's not particularly um, it's not particularly uh, PG-13. Um, of this. This image right here. Uh, with uh, Maury and Connor engaging in coitus with a, uh, a skeleton being the, uh, the fans, deadbeats, crying over uh, the, the, the relationship. Um, this itself is a continuation of a meme from the infamous uh, chapter. Let's see, what chapter is it again? 
Um, oh, I, hey there, I kids. Really it's time running, for the shameless shekel uh, The shake infamous down. chapter 218 of Rent a Girlfriend, where the protagonist gets uh, NTR'd or cucked by uh, another dude and cries about it while apparently having a boner in the sea. So, you know, somebody, somebody made that, right? Somebody made that. The thing is, the thing is, is that it seems as if Maury's, um, the, the drama that's going on, as well as the fact that Maury has surgery upcoming that she's uh, apparently very nervous about. I, you know, I don't really, uh, I don't watch a whole lot of streams, uh, but this is the scuttlebutt that, from what I'm hearing is that she was uh, nervous from it. And I'm getting it from people I actually kind of believe. Um, she uh, had it in her mind to respond to said image uh, on Twitter. So somebody made the, uh, the, the, the deadbeat getting cucked. And then Maury uh, t tweets out, I like the composition and the purple on the chest is an interesting artistic touch. I'm also a big fan of the deadbeats exp expression as well. There's a good deal of complex emotions here that you've portrayed very well here and I'm all for it. You've got a good thing going. Good work. Um, people people didn't really take uh I don't have the I don't have the the quote tweets. Uh Mori since deleted the tweet. She uh she deleted the tweet and people absolutely lost their crap. They are uh they are in full on like they're calling uh they're calling Mori fans dead cucks. People are just absolutely butt blasted over uh over this so mori goes to reddit as she is getting a lot of uh crap for her um comments and let me pull this up uh she actually responds on reddit i don't know if she's actually here or not so people um people do a uh, a tweet or a, do a do a um, not a tweet. They uh, they make a post about it. Uh, the link is now gone, so they don't have the actual link to it anymore. But uh, Maury is uh, you know is being as like, uh, Callie, what's going on? Are you okay, bro? What's going on? Um, at least the at least the version didn't have the boner. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and uh, Maury replies with uh, this comment. Oh, she deleted it. I'm sorry. I, I I will go into the the comment now because uh, you know I, I I gotta I gotta cover it all the way through. Um, let me find it real quick. It's got to be it's it's all of this is screenshotted, obviously. Um, let me find it real quick because her uh, her Reddit comment actually did I did I tweet out her Reddit comment? I'm not entirely sure. Reddit is so garbage and so is VT. Yup. Yep. Um. Oh, here we go. Uh, boop, boop, do. Uh, with people uh criticizing her, her official Reddit account saying, "Uh, can I please just have some fun, please?" Now, obviously, it. With this and with the thing, I think she was poking fun at the people who were going into um, autistic detail about the, I guess, her interpersonal relationships off stream, um, which is a, a pretty, it's a pretty reasonable take to have, really, you know? She's not, like, she's not having a meltdown. She's, like, having, you know, a little bit of fun. It's a little bit of trolling, okay? We do a little bit of trolling here. We do a little bit of trolling here. However, uh, the backlash was so bad that she deleted the tweet and also deleted the Reddit comment. Um, and she then probably did what's probably going to be the least advisable thing in this entire drama. Um, so she announces that she is going on a break. Uh, she says that she's, uh, you know, 
I don't really know what happened in my brain today, so I'll check myself before I wreck myself next time. It's a combo of a lot of things. I need time to be on my own and figure out stuff, so I'm going to hold off on streaming for a bit so I can be better for y'all. Big ups. Um, and then this tweet. This is the tweet that uh, is driving a lot of the controversy. It is, uh, for context... I hit the lean hard half after the stream and caused a fuss where I shouldn't have. I think the surgery has me nervous and acting off as well. Please don't worry too much. So, um, for those of you not aware, uh, lean or scissorp or Purple Drank, or any other names that it might be called, um, is a beverage, generally, uh, I, think the, I, I think the average uh, thing is cough syrup with codeine in it, um, Sprite, and Jolly Ranchers. I have the, I have the, uh, I have the the Kool Aid Jammers as as, as that. I thought that was pretty funny because I don't want to, you know, I want to be, I want to be polite. Um, also, I just, I, I find this image so good, so I had to, I had to use it. Um, Mori is pretty open about the fact that she likes to drink alcohol. Um, people have, uh, people have. Uh, even kind of alluded to the idea that she might be an alcoholic, which I don't think is true um, because I, she doesn't seem to like, listen, I've, 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 I've hung out with Ethan Ralph. Okay. I know what an alcoholic sounds like. Uh, that doesn't sound like an alcoholic to me. She, she enjoys the occasional beverage. Now the speculation is what is lean in her, in her like, in her uh, saying of it, right? What is um, what? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm going to, I'm gonna clarify it with that. Um, so, like, you know, she might just be talking about like really hard alcohol, maybe talking about really strong wine. Um, you know, she might be just talking about, you know, just just for the meme. Uh, Maury is a person who uh, is engaged in rap culture, so it is like kind of a, a kind of a meme. Like when we were watching the Sam Hyde iDubs video, one of the one of the things was just constantly being dr uh, constantly drinking lean, like while making rap songs. Uh, probably whiskey. She drinks a lot of that. Yeah, exactly. Sun on. Okay. Um. She later went on to clarify that um, she actually did not uh, drink, like, lean, lean. Uh, oh, God, no. Let me clarify before I peace out. Not actually lean. Just hit the drinkies. I need to learn the learn the actually meanings of some of these new age words, Lamau. Um, which, I'm going to be real. Uh, I have a, I have a pretty strong indication that Maury knows what lean is. I'm, I'm pretty sure that Maury knows what lean is. Um, she, uh, you know, she, she worked herself into, you know, rap and she probably knows the subculture around that. She knows what lean is. Um, however, there's a couple of problems with this. There's a couple of problems with this. One, uh, generally lean in America is used with, uh, is made with cough syrup that has a lot of codeine in it. Um, apparently from what I've heard, Japanese stores, drug stores, it's really harder to find, um, cough syrup that has codeine in it. They really do not mess around with their, uh, control of illicit substances <laughs> in Japan. They do, uh, they do not mess around with that. Um, so the idea that she might have gotten access to some of that to make it is a little sketchy, uh, to like make actual, like actually screw you up lean. At least that's what I'm guessing. Codeine and all opiates are illegal in Japan. See there, there you go. Um, so it probably wasn't actually lean. Um, and don't you get cruci- We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. The reason why this might be a bit of a problem is that Mori is a um, is a entertainer that works for a Japanese company, and she lives in Japan. The Japanese entertainment market does not screw around with 
substance abuse. That is, that is like, you do not do that. Like here, let me, uh, let me, let me, let me pull this up real quick. Um, like a guy got caught with cocaine and his entire record on working on the Japanese release of frozen is just absolutely like done. Um, you do not do drugs or you do not get caught doing drugs. The guy who apparently played Olaf uh, got caught with cocaine and uh, they patched out all of his lines from Kingdom Hearts. They stopped selling the DVDs. They're probably going to redub the film. Um, it is uh, it is not a good look in the Japanese entertainment industry to be caught with illicit substances. Um, now... I don't think now there there is some saving graces for her. There are some saving graces for her. One, Mori is managed by English speaking people in America. Um, she probably will explain to her management, but probably won't be in too much trouble. Yeah, same with the one actor in Yakuza. Yeah, exactly. Actually, I think it was Judgment, wasn't it? I think it was Judgment that had the guy whose, like, entire voice dialogue was scrubbed from the video game. It might be. I don't know. Uh, so Japan's kind of lame. Uh, they really don't play around with that. You you do not want that to be caught. You don't want to be caught with uh, drugs in uh, Japan. Don't do drugs in Japan, okay? Um, and then to add in fuel to the fire, to add in fuel to the fire, um, Connor, the guy who's also kind of in the, uh, in the, uh, you know, in the sphere of this, uh, he went, uh, now this is probably, this is probably 100% conjecture. Um, he, uh, he tweeted out easy W, um, at, uh, 6 30 AM on the, uh, on this morning. Um, this drama was going on around like 2 AM Eastern this morning, I think. So this is about this is about uh, four hours later. Um, now, to be fair, he just got off of a podcast with uh, several other VTubers, uh, such as Iron Mouse, and that might have been what it was. Especially since Iron Mouse later tweeted out, uh, "Let me let me find that real quick." Wasn't he playing against Ludwig then? Yeah, exactly. But the the rumor mill. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it was playing with Lud or whatever. Um, the rumor mill does what the rumor mill does, and a lot of people are speculating that this is like a commentary on what was going on because they're crazy and autistic, and they're absolutely neurotically crazy people. Um, it was bad timing. It was definitely bad timing. Um, I again, I don't think uh, I don't think Mori is. Uh, I don't think Mori actually engaged in uh, using illicit substances. Um, I think uh, I think it was just more slang because she was trying to uh, she was you know talking in a way that you know is kind of indicative of her um, of her uh, her whole aesthetic you know as a as a rapper, um, and I'm pretty sure that like the continued sort of. You know, dogging. It's like, oh, here's for the condom fun and stuff like that. All, all, all of that is, um, is, uh, just sort of, uh, it's hard. It's hard for her. And she's also dealing with the stress of an upcoming, I think it's like, uh, she's getting some oral surgery done, right? I think Maury's getting some oral surgery done or whatever. Um, uh, will saying Wigger get you banned, Cup Dog? No. Uh, one, I'm independent, and two, I don't give a shit. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a rough situation right now. Uh, the 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 schizos over on VT are uh, schizophrenic it up. Um, let me find. Let's see. Let's see what their current Mori thread has. Uh, basically saying that Mori, uh, this is what happens when you have a hug box. Um, 420 lean it. Uh, funny when she behaves like a normal person, she's suddenly a bitch and a whore. That's just years of alienation and brainwashing of Japanese media and anime does to an incel. They think these. I, I don't get this stuff, dude. That a woman being herself is enough. This is a this is a good post. This is a very good post. What's a lean? It's it. I I explained what lean is already. <laughs> <laughs> 